Hello friends. In this class, we are going to talk about DAG representation of a basic block. We have already seen DAG representation of an expression. In this class, we are going to see DAG for block. Hi everyone, and uh, the next is uh, some tool for optimization to apply the optimization okay so uh, the DAG representation of the basic block so we have already seen the DAG representation DAG for what we have seen DAG for uh, DAG for us we have seen expression and the idea was for DAG for expression was that uh, that common sub expression okay so common sub expression was so expression evaluated only once okay so if you give me a is equal to a plus a then i'll draw the dag in very different way that there is a variable a and then we are adding it a with a only and then we have a equal to with a only okay so that is the dag directed a cyclic graph and there will be arrows like this only okay so we don't have any cycle in this case so coming back to this, uh, many important technique of, for local optimization begin by transforming the basic block into DAG. Okay, there can be other method also, but uh, this is one of the technique. Directed acyclic graph. We concept the DAG for the basic block as follows. There is a node in the DAG for each initial value of the variable appearing in the block. Okay, so node uh, there is a node in the DAG for each initial value. So for variable there will be a for variable there will be a node okay so that will be there there is a node n associated with each statement so for each statement each statement there will be a node within the block the children of n okay now if you're if you're drawing a node n then what will be the children of n the children of n will be those nodes corresponding to the statement of the last definition okay the statement corresponding to the last definition so uh, like what it trying to say here that there may be a variable a uh, updated so many times huh? but uh, last definition huh? so last definition of a will be what this will be the last definition and this two will be not considered here actually okay so not considered so <clears throat> so uh, corresponding to the last definition prior to s okay so before s uh, of the operand used by S. Uh, the node n will be labeled by labeled by the operator. Okay, now if I say that uh, b is equal to a multiplied by c, so the node will be used by labeled by the operator. So there will be an operator. Okay, attached to n. Uh, attached to n is the list of a variable which is the last definition within the block okay so node n is labeled labeled by the operator applied on the statement s and also attached to n the list of variables okay at also attached to this n okay so this also what we need to attach you a list of variables okay so list of variables and variables which uses the last definition within the block Okay, so these are the, we have to create the statement, uh, statement wise statement. Certain nodes are designed, designated as output nodes. Okay, so now certain nodes will be output nodes. So that is another different thing about uh, this basic block. Output nodes will be there. These nodes are, who node, these are the nodes whose variable are in live or exit from the block. Okay, so. Uh, the nodes which will be live okay and we will as i as we told you that live variable analysis is for uh, dead code elimination and we will those will be your exit nodes exit uh, uh, those will be your uh, output nodes sorry their value will be used later so what is a live variable and here a very small definition is given to you that is their value may be used later in another block or the flow graph so we have to maintain and we will call that value as a live value so that is uh, that is the idea of this uh, DAG representation of the basic block and i have already given you the definition now what we'll do we'll we'll see the example okay we'll see this this is the definition part 
now we will see the example part that what exactly this one two three four statement means here okay so that's all for this DAC representation of basic block thank you